Hi my loves, today's video is one that you all have asked for for quite a while. It is my holy grail hair products. I am going to show you guys about 10 different products that I use not every day, but they are my go-tos and yeah, let's get started. So one of my secrets, which I honestly don't have any secrets. Um, I said in my hair curling tutorial video, if you haven't watched it, click the link here. Um, it's a great video, but I have never dyed my hair ever. I've never highlighted it. I get natural highlights from the sun in the summer. Um, I, I mean, so it's really healthy. I guess that's a secret. Um, I can't, you know, I just was blessed with great hair. I really was. And I'm so thankful for that, but I do do some stuff to kind of zhuzh it up. So everybody continually asks me what shampoo and conditioner do I use? I don't use the same shampoo and conditioner every time. Maybe that's a secret. I don't know if that's part of what makes it healthy and shiny. Um, I'm not sure, but I don't use the same one every time consistently. So I think my hair does not have time to get used to something and that might be, you know, a plus. Some of them that I use, um, John Frieda, Brilliant Brunette. I really like how it smells. Um, I do use shampoo and conditioner. I have a lot of hair, so I have to always use conditioner every single time that I shower. Um, this is Brilliant Brunette, and I think this may help, um, you know, bring out some of the tones in my hair since I never really have gotten it colored ever. Another one that I love is Ren Pure Coconut Milk Nourishing Conditioner, and then I have the shampoo too. I just didn't bring it out. Again, I love how this smells, um, big on smells. Um, and I get this at, where did I get this? Marshalls, and it was on sale. Like, I'm on a budget, you know what I mean? So I always look for this at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls and it's on sale. Smell is really important to me, but also I do try to look for things with, you know, no parabens and things like that that I'm trying to get better at. I realize the importance of that. And I always like to try new products. I'm not stuck on like specific things except one, which I will tell you about. Um, but yeah, I am always wanting to try new products and switching it up. I'm like that with skincare. I'm like that with makeup. I also will um, swap out my shampoo and conditioner for Care Of. Uh, I've talked to you guys about that on Instagram before. And I really do like Care Of because they can you know, give you shampoo and conditioner exactly for what you're needing for your specific hair type. So I do use that as well, um, to be honest. <laughs> Another tip that I have for you all is don't blow dry your hair too often. I can't even tell you the last time I blew my hair dry. Is that how you say it? Blew my hair dry? Sure, we'll go with it. <laughs> I don't do it. I let my hair air dry. Yes, it's annoying sometimes because I have to kind of time it out but I really, if I blow dry my hair, it gets frizzy because I have thick, coarse hair. Um, so yeah, I don't put a lot of heat on it. The only time that heat goes on this hair is if it's being curled or straightened, which I rarely straighten it. And like I said in my curling tutorial, I don't curl my hair every day. I really only do it if I'm going somewhere. So, you know, I don't put a lot of heat on my hair and I think that's also another reason why it is so strong and so healthy. That is another tip. So I don't put too much heat on it by styling it too often and I don't use the blow dryer on it. All right, next product. This is kind of like my holy grail product. I also talked about this before. This is my hairspray that I use. It's Marc Anthony um, Argan Oil of Morocco Extra Hold Hairspray. I've tried other hairsprays. I always go back to this. This is the one where I kind of will not stray and try new things. I absolutely love this. I don't think it has the best smell, if I'm being honest, um, but it's not horrible and I am obsessed with it. Holy grail, you're hearing it from me. This is my holy grail hair product. Another thing that I use occasionally, mostly whenever I wand my hair, which is what I did for this look, I use Kenra Dry Texture Spray. I will, my hairstylist recommended this. She used it on me when she did my hair, so I had to go get it. This does smell good. Um, but yeah, I'll use this when I'm doing the curling wand on my hair and in between my layers, I'll kind of put some of this in and then at the end, I'll kind of give it a, a zhuzh. But yeah, Kenra, I really do like this brand. Um, she, my hairstylist has used other Kenra products on me and I've liked those as well. Dry shampoo, 
Maybe I should fix the mess that I just made. Um, dry shampoo I will use here and there if needed. I like Philosophy Fresh Cream Dry Shampoo. This smells like vanilla ice cream. So good. Um, but yeah, I use this occasionally. My hair doesn't get super greasy, but I usually wash my hair every two to three days, depending on how sweaty I get at the gym, what I'm doing around the house, if I'm, you know, just depending on situational, but I try to wash it every two to three days and I'll spritz this in, in between if needed. And by the way, I'm going to be linking most of these products if I can find them in the description below. So you guys, you know, have easy access to them. Okay, my last hair product is this little guy. This is Chai Chi, Chai Chi, I don't know, C-H-I, um, Argon Oil. And it's just a little sample that I received. I don't use this often, but if I feel like my hair is looking a little dry or the ends are kind of looking a little crunchy, I will put this on when my hair is damp after I've washed it and I'll kind of just run my fingers through it like this. Um, I don't put too much on, but this this is a good thing if your hair is like really thirsty. Argon oil plus Moringa oil. So that's a good tidbit. My next two items that I wanted to show you for my hair are my two brushes. This is the Goody Quick Style. This is the wet hair brush. I don't know the exact name. This I will use after I get out of the shower and my hair is wet. Um, I'll just use this and brush my hair. I do brush my hair every day. I feel like most people do, but maybe some people don't. I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> no more power to you if you don't, but I do brush my hair every day just because it is very thick and can get a little bit tangly. This is my wet brush. So this is what I use when my hair is wet. This is the Goody brand. This one was in my curling iron tutorial. This I got, I think at TJ Maxx, it's Cala, C-A-L-A, I guess. I'm probably just butchering these names guys. Um, it's just like a wooden paddle brush. I really love paddle brushes, especially again, cause my hair is very thick and I think I got this at TJ Maxx as well. All right, my last Holy Grail product, I saved this for last because I'm gonna destroy this, not really, but um, I don't use ponytail holders that often, which is weird. So when I go to the gym, I normally French braid my hair instead of pulling it up. A, because when my hair is in a ponytail, I get a headache most times because my hair is so thick and heavy. It tends to give me a headache. And also I don't want the breakage that comes along with ponytail holder. I don't have the luxury of using scrunchies or the, you know, the twirly rubber band, what, not rubber, I don't know what they are. You know what I'm talking about. The, the ones that you can put in water and they soak back. Those don't work for my hair because my hair is too heavy. So. Instead, whenever I'm at the house and I just want my hair out of my face or just if I'm going out running errands and I want it up, this is what I will use. This is a clip I'm obsessed with. I've tried other clips. They don't work as well. I don't know what it is. So I'll kind of show you. So I pull all of my hair back. Again, your girl's got <laughs> a lot to work with. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> So I'm gonna pull it up and then I just, I'm gonna put it in like a messy bun or a bun. So I'm gonna twist it around like this and then just put it in a bun. And then you'll see, uh -oh, um, I have like a little tail at the end. I'll just use this and clip it back there. And there we go, up in a bun. Of course there's one piece sticking out it's fine um but yeah so that is my 10th holy grail hair product this is how i normally look when i'm at my house just chilling with my hair up um works wonders for me so again i hope i didn't disappoint anybody that i don't have like some huge secret for my hair you know i have healthy hair to start with that's a good base and then i just don't overheat it i don't overstyle it i just take care of my hair um so, but I hope, you know, you guys will try out some of these products. I do love them and I do believe in them and I do think they work or else I would never tell you about them. Truth, like truth. And yeah, so I don't use the same um, shampoo and conditioner every time. I gave you three of my favorites and occasionally I'll use um, like Dove or Head and Shoulders or something in the winter if your scalp gets dry. I have no shame in that. 
sometimes you gotta throw that into the mix too. So I'm just always using new products. I love trying new things. If you guys have any recommendations for me, please let me know. I would love to try them out. And otherwise, I'll do a little also, I've had a lot of people ask me about my haircut, um, the style of it. So I get my haircut probably once every three months and I get long layers. My hair does have layers in it. You can tell right here. So I get the longer layers. So let's see, here's the shorter layer, medium layer, and then longer, longest. So I get my hair cut about yeah, once every three months or just whenever I notice I have split ends. I do get split ends occasionally. Um, so y'all, my hair isn't perfect. It's not perfect, I promise you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is everything that just works for me. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm not saying it will work for you or it won't. I hope it does. I hope this helps. I really, really love interacting with you all and answering your questions about my lifestyle and what things I use. And I'm so flattered and like humbled and thankful that you all care. So I really appreciate you guys. Like truly, truly, truly from the bottom of my heart. I love y'all. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the box below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and get notification when I post a new video. And also follow me on Instagram at angek7. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Until next time, thanks y'all. Bye. I don't have the luxury of using scrunchies 